everyone knows that breathing is important. If you've ever had the wind knocked out of you or had a panic attack or an asthma attack, then you know this intimately. If you're a parent, I'm sure that at some point you've encouraged your children to take some deep breaths when they're having a strong emotional response. It's almost instinctual. But how often do we practice deep breathing ourselves? Did you know that through deep breathing, you can impact your emotional, psychological, and physical health? Breathwork is becoming a hot topic in the health world and for good reason. Some of the benefits of breathwork include balancing blood pressure, reducing PTSD and feelings of trauma, reducing the production of stress hormones such as cortisol, and improved sleep quality, respiratory function, and immune system function. In this video, I'm going to teach you three simple breathing techniques. These techniques are wonderful to use with your children, but don't forget to take care of yourself too. I would love to encourage you to take a little time each day for yourself by practicing the simple self-care ritual of breathing. First of all, before beginning any breathing practice, find a comfortable seated position. Keep your spine straight and imagine a string pulling up the top of your head. Finally, draw your shoulders down away from your ears and relax your belly. The first type of breathing that we're going to practice is called finger breathing. You start by placing all of your fingertips together. As you breathe in, you expand your fingertips. And as you breathe out, you bring them together again. This is a simple mindfulness technique that brings our full awareness to our breathing. Our fingertips are packed with nerve endings. So not only are we visually focused as we watch our fingertips mimic the action of our lungs, but by touching our fingertips together, we're sending signals from our fingertips to our brain, telling it to pay attention and distracting our brain from whatever other thoughts and emotions may be bombarding it. The second breathing technique is called box breathing or square breathing. In this technique, you begin with your hands in front of you and lift them as you breathe in and slowly count to four. Next, you flip your hands and move them apart as you hold your breath for a count of four. Then move your hands down as you breathe out for four. And finally, flip your hands and draw them together as you hold for four. This technique is excellent for returning our breathing to normal after a stressful event, but is also excellent for improving mental clarity and focus. And studies have even suggested that through repeated practice of this technique, you may change your body's future reactions to stress. The third technique we're going to talk about is diaphragmatic breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing is focused on making sure that we're breathing into the deepest part of our lungs, where the oxygen gets into our bloodstream for a host of health benefits. Start by placing one hand on your chest and one on your diaphragm at the top of your belly. As you breathe normally, you will likely feel movement happening primarily in your chest or maybe very little movement at all. Now, as you breathe in through your nose, you're going to focus on expanding your diaphragm and allowing your lower ribs to spread while keeping your shoulders and chest still and relaxed. Then let the air out slowly. Try not to push it out, but simply relax and let the air flow out. These three breathing techniques can be practiced anywhere and anytime to improve the emotional, psychological, and physical well-being of you and your kids. I'm Chelsea Brossard with Symmetry Chiropractic Wellness Center. Go change the world.